Welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Advance. And I thought I'd do you a solid and just skip the jaunt from Narsh to Figaro Castle. Ah, this is just like old times. I'm gonna wander around for a bit. Let's. Alright, the great Sabini. Let's check you out. I feel like it's necessary to go back to the tool manufacturer, even though it's the other one. <laughs> I thought at some point it gave us more tools we could buy, but I think I might be jumping the gun a little bit. Let's see! No, I was right. So we got Flash, which inflicts darkness, and then Drill, which penetrates an enemy's armor and deals severe damage. <clears throat> Excellent! It's a good thing my memory still serves me well sometimes. I couldn't tell you what I had for breakfast today, but I can remember that this is the point in Final Fantasy VI that I can get more tools for my King of Figaro party member that is back home. Because they say a man's home is his castle. And this is... this is Vaga's castle. So it must be his home. Where... oh where... Did the great Sabini go? This way? Did he go back home? Or go to his room? Or maybe I just rest? I can't remember. I guess that was all that was required of me. Judging by the lack of sleepy inn music. Well, and the great Sabini walking slowly and reminiscently. I don't think that's a word, but it is now. Castle hasn't changed much. Other than my brother's the king now. Yeah, this could have been me. And yet it's different. Mom and dad are gone. Nothing can ever really be the same. Not after that. Not after the incident. Can things be the same? Tonight. Worst he's been. So, if he should. If he should. Wow. No, you're wrong. It's not true. Priestess, the king, he's... Did I ever mention how depressing this game can be? I've played it so much over the years that... I'm mostly desensitized to it now, but it's not exactly a cheery game, this Final Fantasy VI. Dad couldn't have. Or maybe just everything surrounding the Figaro brothers, namely the great Sabini. Oh, I'm gonna walk through this forest and... On my way to this forest, this guy is gonna have his wife and his son killed and join me, and then we're gonna go on the phantom train to see them dead again, and then we're gonna have this flashback to where my own parents are dead. You all make me sick. Everyone's saying that Empire had dad poisoned, and the only thing any of you can think about is who'll be the next king. No one's even sad. None of you probably cared when mom died after we were born, either. <clears throat> That's not... Oh, I'm gonna suplex you! Great Sabini, don't suplex the commoners. It's, it's hard to find good help these days, especially when you suplex them to death. The Great Sabini. Priestess, leave us. Priestess, commoner... I'll say it's a commoner, priestess, if that makes any sense. Let's leave this place. Let's forget this crazy kingdom and live our lives how we want to. You said you didn't want to be a king anyway, right? A life of freedom, huh? Yeah. What do you think would happen to Figaro if both of us left? There'd be no one to take the throne. Dad was counting on us to take care of this kingdom. The great Sabini, let's settle this with a coin toss. Dad gave me this one. If it's heads, you win. Tails, I win. The path... The winner chooses whichever path he wants. No regrets, no hard feelings, okay? Oh, fine. I wanted to win anyway, so... Let's flick this coin! That's one hell of a coin flip. Like, what do you suppose the Guinness record is for coin flips? I doubt it's that high. And you chose your freedom. Oh yeah, just hiding the curtains like a weirdo. Weird pervert guy. That's where you learned that. It's already been ten years. That little shrimp has grown into a whopping lobster. And you're a king crab. 
Hey -o. I thought, what's with all the animal similes? Is it similes I'm looking for? Sabin's the bear. He's a lobster. Sabini, do you think Dad would be proud of me? Yes, brother. Don't you ever doubt it. I'm sure he's beaming with pride wherever he is. What if he's burning up? Ten years. Where has the time gone? Telling me. This game's, what, 23 years old now? Didn't seem like that long ago, and I remember this game being ten years old. Here's to a couple of confused grown-ups. Drink. That sounds like a lot of experimental college... people. Just, you know, living their lives. Here's to Dad. To Mom. And to Figaro. And to each other. Hmm. I like the definition of your chest, the great Sabini. Ooh, and I like your long hair. My brother. Anyway, now that that... Now that that is over with, that awkwardness has been completed. Let us... Use the special ability of Figaro Castle, which this gentleman can do for us now. If you try to go down here, he's like, You're the king, but I won't let you down here, and Vaga's like, Okay. You're the boss. Lots of requests this month. I can take you to the desert beyond the mountains if you like. Let's do that. Urg. Yeah, so we have a submarine castle. Well, it's a sub-desert castle. It's not really submarine. I imagine if it was on water, it would sink, no problem. I just can't imagine it would go back up too well. And I'm not sure how that science works. Maybe there's a textbook somewhere we can consult as to the science behind pulling in, like, heavy sand, and then to go up, you pull in, like, more buoyant sand. Enjoy your visit. I will, I gotta get... get all re-equipped up. Ooh, fossil dragon. Let's steal from it with my newfound... stealing prowess. Let's drill it. Vaga's specialty. Dr the drill attack. This thing's kind of sturdy. Yeah, with the complimentary helmet. Sandstorm, does that make us blind? I can't remember. That was a mean last attack. And that actually gave me pretty good... Uh, what do you call it? Money, it was like two grand. I know I'm wasting this phoenix down. Oh, I'm zombified. Do I have the de-zombie fire? I don't think I do. I can't remember what does it. I'll have to buy some of those. So there's the pub. Which I think... Is that where we find Shadow? Yeah, Shadow's in here. You can take him along if you want. Uh, he leaves at random though, so I'm not terribly interested in doing that. But feel free if it's... If Shadow's like your... Your main squeeze, don't let me get in your way. So is there anything worth buying here? Not really. Like, if you were to take Shadow along, it'd be kind of worthwhile. Uh, Mithril Shield, I don't want any of these. Yeah, this is all junk. This will probably also be junk. I bought a lot- I re-finagle myself a lot and- Okay, Holy Water. Oh yeah, I got- I just got Holy Water. But I'll pick up, say, five of them, just in case. And... No, I don't really need much else. So I'll use that... <coughs> excuse me. Let's sort. There, holy water. That's better. And then I can use the inn before I leave. And I'd be remiss if I didn't check out the old relic shop. I don't know if any of these clowns have anything important to say that I should really be... Or is this the place where I was doing that side quest for, uh... When I was the Great Sabini scenario in Veld, was it here? Like from Miranda, I think the place was. Was it here? Oh, there's a there's a treasure there. I see it. Oh, Crit X. It's been a while, ages even. Oh, that. Worry not. Worry not. Your treasure's quite safe. <laughs> yep. There's there's this treasure. 
It's a good thing I just happened to have finished this herbal concoction back then. Now she'll never age a day! I had to use my herbs, I did. Couldn't very well refuse with you begging me like that. Now we get a flashback. This is not going to be a very productive episode. Well, I suppose it'll be productive. I'm getting through some storyline elephants. Elephants. You know, I'd ask you to forget, but elephants don't. You sure the stuff will work? Yeah, pretty sure. Of course, of course. The love of your life will sleep here just like this forever. And ever and ever. He he he. Oh, Critex is sad about it. If there were a way to call her spirit back, we'll figure it out one way or another. You mean like that legendary treasure? Hee hee hee! Oh yes, I suppose if you had that, you might be able to bring her around. Why is this guy so crazy? Sounds like Kefka's long lost brother, cousin, next of kin. I... I failed her. Ugh. Feel gross inside. So now that we've triggered that, can I go around yet? Or do I just kind of seesaw my way through? Maybe I can't go back yet. Get back there quite yet. Actually, I was just back there. I just got to take the secret entrance. I can't remember what that treasure is. J sir? You're in my way, sir. Okay. Come on, fingers. Do what I want. that? There we go. What do we got? Green beret. I could use another green beret. Especially crit X could. With a little bit of bonus maximum HP. What I should have done when I was in the Veld, if I didn't mention it, was before I fought many more enemies, I should have ground for, I don't know, 12 green berets. Before it gets more and more difficult to encounter the satellite enemy that drops it, that's the time you really want to do it, but I failed in that regard. But I have three, I think, if not four. Excuse me while I scratch my nose. I'm not doing a full-fledged pick, even though I'm not above it. I'm just... It's dry, you don't, or it's wet, rather. You don't really pick, like, wet stuff. Anyway, you needed to know that. Yeah, so I got four green braids now, which should... Which ought to help. It looks like I can circle back and go up up and around this way. I can't remember if that's actually the case or not. Let's steal from these here doggies. There we go. So they just had had a meager potion. Yeah, I guess I can go up and around in here. What is here? Stuff that I want? That I really, really want? What is this, actually? I don't remember this. Hi. We can't let the world become too peaceful, don't you see? People shine their brightest when they're at war. My Colosseum will be a monument to the glory of battle if I can ever finish it, that is. No one will help me. Okay, so it's the guy who opens the Colosseum. Spoiler alert, there's a Colosseum later in the game. And I enjoy the Colosseum. Ooh, Hero's Ring. What's that even do? Can't remember. Golden Ring once worn by an ancient hero boosts both physical and magical attack power. That sounds like that should go directly on the Great Sabini. So it shall. And then... I don't really need you to prevent poison. I'd rather you have the Knight's Code. You're the closest thing I have to a knight anyway. You're a samurai. So I'm glad I went up here. I think I've skipped this part a number of times. I don't remember getting that hero ring. But I don't remember every last thing I ever collected. Let's go in this forest here, see what kind of enemies are waiting for us. And let's also steal from this vulture. Ooh, high potion. That was worthwhile. Bio blaster. I should maybe... I don't need to demonstrate the flash ability. Like, it causes blindness. There may be a boss later where it might be halfway useful. But I don't really intend on... ...using it in that manner. I'm sure I'll find it. Hey, Phoenix Town. Yeah, let's do one quick battle in this here forest. Oh, it's a Chocobo stable. 
well, I want to see if I can't do a fight in here first, then I'll gladly take the chocobo down. That's great news. I didn't expect that. So what kind of enemies are here? Iron Fist, Rock Wasp. I wonder if those Iron Fists have anything good like the guys by Vargas had. Potion, it's not... Okay, it's not really looking like it, but... Nonetheless... I like having the boosted steal rate. I know there's something I want to steal from an enemy... It might even be in the next dungeon-like area I go to. There's like this really tall ogre type enemy that I'm pretty sure I can steal something decent from. Oh, this is getting bonkers. That was a very... very sad suicide. Am I actually gonna die right now? No, not quite. Well, maybe, but probably not quite. There we go. If he just threw stones one more time, it would have been all over. Hey, and I learned Flame Dance, which I should... Fire Dance, whatever it's called. And this is probably called, like, Ice Tango. I don't know. Let's look at it. No, Abilities. There we go. Fire Dance. Oh, there we go. So it is, uh... Duh, 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 duh. I think I might be left, left, down, down, right will work. Left, left, down, down, right. We'll figure it out in due course. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the Phoenix down, even though I'll be safe on the Chocobo, just in case I run into something, like, from the two steps it takes me to get to the next town I'm going to, or not. So let's go back in here, see if there's maybe something I can steal from this pot. There is not. How about some chocobo feed? No chocobo feed I can steal? No? That's too bad. Sir, 100 gil for chocobo ride? Why, certainly. Let's do this. Yeah, let's build up some momentum, and let's go. Alright. So no battles for this guy as we go to the next town that I want to go to. Which I believe is straight down. It's straight down-ish. Yeah. And then I better make sure I get all... Okay, so I gotta... Okay, I gotta go here first. I'm going to Jador. I believe. Go to the door of Jador. See what kind of good stuff I can grab here. Any better equipment? <clears throat> I hope so. Ooh, twist headband. What's that even do? Yeah, it's just it's a decent headband. Ooh, mithril vest. That seems alright. Ninja gear. I can't tell if that's better for Sabin or not. The Great Sabini. Oh, one way to find out. Equip this on the Great Sabini, and then I'll know. Genius, I tell ya. Genius. Okay, it is still better. So there, now I'm all... And I'll get a Ninja Gear for Crit X as well. There, things are looking on the up and up. How much of a boost is it? I'm sure it's... Yeah, speed up by two, defense up by two, magic defense up by two more. Can't complain. Well, like, you can always complain. I'm just not going to complain. There we have it. And then... There. Let's see if I can't get more items. And then I will go to the auction house, see if I can't get something decent, because I think I can get some okay things from it, if I can afford to do so. Ooh, a, uh, one of those. I better buy two. Kaiser Knuckles. I, I only need one of them. I don't want any of that stuff, because I got that sometimes steals from an enemy thing equipped on Crit X. What did I just buy? Weapon. That's better. 
Then I also got two weapons for Cyan. There, attack 212. No complaints. Maybe I ought to go back to sleep again. Even though I'm definitely going to Chocobo to the next place as well. Those folks in Zozo don't have an ounce of honesty among a lot of them. Don't trust the word they say. Rooms are 250, that place I was just at, it was 100. You're ripping me off, dude. Although, I guess supply and demand. I don't know, this place is close to the Opera House, so I guess there's somewhat of a supply here. Or somewhat of a demand. The supply is debatable. Let's go up here first. I don't know if I have to yet, I can't recall. Get- You're in my way, sir! Okay. Let's speak to each other. You're obviously not from around here. Straighten your back. Don't slump so much. I'm not really slumping right now. I thought I was standing pretty straight. Thanks for the 4D attempt at correcting my posture. This is the Jador Auction House. It's always full of wealthy aristocrats. I believe I can buy stuff here now. There's some pretty good stuff here later. Oh, I can't even... I can't even do this right now. Okay, maybe I can't actually do this yet. Thought I could. Well, I can definitely do it... shortly. Okay, I'll start the next area because... let's keep on the theme of tools for Edgar. And by Edgar, I mean Vaga. Uh, so, yes, 250 gil. Again, you're, you're charging me up out the nose here. So let's go to the next area, Zozo. Which is up here. Save myself a little bit of wear and tear on my party with this chocobo. Save us a little time as well. And as you may notice, this town is kind of shaped like a question mark. And for good reason. And I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna save it right now. Yes, save. Alright. So yes, like I said, I'm gonna get one tool here for Vaga, then I'm gonna end this episode. Because otherwise this will take too long. But I can show you some of the stuff that's wandering around here. Show you some of this gobbledygook. Uh, da, 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 da. Does that work? Yeah, it does. Rising Phoenix. It's not called Fire Dance anymore. But that hits everybody for fire damage, as I'm sure you could have figured out. I don't even have a chance to steal from them. That's how effective it is, 500 gil later. I always still, to this day, imagine this music anytime I'm outside and it's raining. Yeah, it's that hill gigas that I think has the thing that I want. Yeah, gigas club. Go figure. So let's take care of them. I don't think the Harvester has anything. Let's flash them, just cuz. Although it looks like... I think the Harvester can steal money from me. If he can't, then... Ooh, Silver Spectacles, too. Yeah, he can steal money from me, and if he runs away before he finishes the battle, he takes all my money. Otherwise, you get it back. But yeah, that seemed like a decent haul there. Gigas Glove and Spectacles. 5,000 gil. Oh yeah, because he stole 4,000. That's how it gives it back to you at the end of the battle like that. So let's look at these spectacles. Prevents darkness. It's not super special, but you could you could steal a bunch and sell them. And I already have a Gigas Glove, so I guess it's not super great. But it's not bad, like it's good to know that that's there, I suppose. Is this where I wanted to go? Uh, no it's not. Okay, so there's... Remember that they always lie, so there's a girl at the top of this building. Well, I may as well steal another... whatever it was that I got. Uh... I gotta suplex this guy, come on. He's so large, you gotta give him a suplex. Did I actually steal? Well, I attempted to steal. Yay, levels. Ooh, and a new Bushido technique. That's like Quadra Slicer. It's something that attacks four times. I can't rem 
I don't know what it's called in this version. All the names are different anyway. I may as well steal some more of those spectacles too, because... Oh, well, they're worth money. If I need... If I need money, they're worth money. I didn't realize also that Flash actually... hurt. Which is... handy. To know. I don't think I'll get a chance to actually use number four. All of these guys should probably perish before I get the opportunity. No, oh, Harvester took an extra second to die. For whatever reason. Or is it just right in the pub that I'm looking for? No, it's not. Not quite. Veil Dancer. Let's steal from her. Well, let's use the Quadra, whatever it is, just so I can show you what it's made of. And yeah, Flash. And I can't remember if I stole or not, doesn't much matter. Jeez, I think I'm almost better off just doing just a regular attack with him with the Genji Glove at the moment. Good night. Flash you when you're not looking from behind for victory and more levels for everybody. So let's go up and around like I knew I was supposed to, but just wasn't. Hey, there's another Trojan helmet on the ground. Oh, it is right here. Okay, the clock's hands have stopped. Set the hour hand. Six. Set the minute hand. Ten. Set the second hand. 50. I will forget my mother's name before I forget that code. And uh, you can deduce what code it is through the citizens of Zozo. But I just remember it. For some reason I thought it was different in this version. But I, I just proved it's not, so maybe it's different in the PlayStation version? I'm not sure. Nonetheless, obtain chainsaw. Let's look at this chainsaw. Sort. Where is the chainsaw? So basically, the drill is already rendered. Um, what do you call it? In. It's already been outclassed by the chainsaw. Damages are instantly dispatched as an enemy. So you can use it. It does about as much damage as the drill would, but it can also instant kill. Which I'd like to demonstrate before this episode has reached its conclusion. And then you can just go up here, because, I don't know, you feel like it, I guess. But then you go back down, and the wall just moves out of the way for you. Which is convenient. Let's steal more of these spectacles, because it's amusing me. So let's use chainsaw... Let's chainsaw the lady, because that's appropriate in today's day and age. That's not the instant kill one, but 600 damage. And let's see if I can't do an instant kill in the meantime, or as, as I'm going out. Yeah, more money. So, like I said, I'll just make my way towards the, the entrance. Then I can maybe compare the drill. Yeah, let's compare drill damage. I'll get you to steal. Let's compare drill damage to chainsaw damage. So the drill, 477, to a gobbledygook. Don't be throwing golden riches at me. That would hurt. Gold's heavy. But you wouldn't think they could afford to get rid of anything like that. And that's what, 600. So yeah, that definitely was sufficient more damage. Come on, let's do some... Can I actually kill him now? Chainsaw. Come on, instant death. No instant death. He basically just goes, like, straight forward. He doesn't twirl around. Oh, I should have just used Great Sabini's anything that's halfway magical. Does no Noise Blaster count as magic? It might. I meant to use Flash, but I used the wrong one. This should work. This is a fairly magic-y attack. There we go. Yeah, so that's the chainsaw. 
So I'm going to use that opportunity to end the episode here-ish. So thanks everybody for joining me again for an episode of Final Fantasy VI Advance. The next episode we should do a little bit more than buff up the party and gallivant the countryside on chocobos. So join me next time for whatever it is I decide to play tomorrow. I still go by Megaharve.